Good evening and welcome to the first ever virtual paintings and pairings event. I am Anita Irvin, the Executive Director at Insight Memory Care Center. Hi, my name is Tiffany Moore, a member of the Insight Board of Directors. You are in for a great treat this evening. We are going to guide you through the program this evening. We'll talk about the auction items, give out some awards, hear from our families we serve, and of course, support a fantastic organization. We are excited that you are here celebrating with us tonight. We are so excited to be celebrating the ninth annual Paintings and Pairings event with you tonight. Thank you for joining us virtually from your home or office. The event looks a little different this year, and we want to sincerely thank each of you and ask you to take pictures of your group with your choice of beverage, of course, and then share it with us on hashtag paintings and pairings. On behalf of the staff, board of directors, participants, families, and volunteers, I want to acknowledge the 2020 Paintings and Pairings sponsors. A special thank you to the Retirement Unlimited Incorporated as our diamond sponsor. They've been so supportive of Insight through the years. Let's hear from Retirement Unlimited Incorporated. Spiritus means to infuse spirit in a live and so, and we accomplish this through our resident-focused care and purposeful activities that center on music, art, mobility, and sensory stimulation. Our designated light pavements allow the residents to explore their curiosities and interact with the environment. Our Inspiritas residents live with a sense of purpose. Also, a huge thank you to all the sponsors who have continued to support us as we've moved the event to a virtual gala and of course supporting the mission of Insight Memory Care Center. Thank you to our gold sponsor, Cassidy and Company, Goodwin House, Kensington Senior Living, Pavilion Medical Home Care and Staffing, Signature Estate and Investment Advisors. A complete list of all sponsors can be found in your program. Insight is also grateful for the support from Fairfax County and the Board of Supervisors. Here's a message from Chairman Jeff McKay. Hi, I'm Jeff McKay, Chairman of the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors. Thank you to Insight Memory Care Center for hosting this event virtually. Insight Memory Care Center has been serving the Fairfax County community since 1984. In these uncertain times, we are lucky to have organizations like yours in the community. You play an important role for many families as one of the first adult daycare centers to serve those with Alzheimer's and dementia. Your work is critical to keeping community members with memory impairments engaged and improving the quality of life for them and their families. Thank you for serving our county and for everything you do each day. Thank you so much, Chairman McKay, for all your support. We have a great program ahead of us tonight. You will get to hear from several of our families we serve and get an update on our very own COVID-19 response. We will be awarding the Excellence in Memory Care Award. We also have a new award, the COVID-19 Care Response Award. This award recognizes programs or services that went above and beyond to positively impact memory care in our community during the COVID-19 pandemic. A little tip for those watching tonight, I recommend having two screens going, maybe a computer screen and your mobile phone or tablet. This way you can watch the program and bid on auction packages. 
Good luck. There's some great auction items available at imcc2020.ggo.bid. Looking to get away? There's several vacation homes available, all within driving distance. Here's a great chance for a safe getaway to recharge and relax, or even change up your virtual work and or school routine with a different view. Many of you watching tonight have partnered with us to achieve our mission to provide specialized care, support, and education for individuals with Alzheimer's disease and other memory impairments, their families, caregivers, and the community through our Adult Day Health and Resource Center. Thank you for your support, and I hope we can count on you for your continued support. My hope for tonight is to give you a picture of how Insight has responded to the COVID-19 pandemic. But first, let's hear from one of our caregivers, Kathy, how Insight helped her and her mother with dementia. Hi, my name is Kathy and I'm going to share with you my story about dementia. My sweet mother started having some very noticeable memory issues maybe about three years ago. I aggressively started looking for a place for her to live up here in Washington, D.C. because she was very isolated living alone in Texas. I was, I was already trying my best to find some place for her. She agreed to the idea. I was very, very thankful, the idea of living near a child. But she thought, oh, you know, we'll see in a couple of years how I'm doing. There was not time to wait a couple of years. She was not safe being alone. Now I have a roommate. <laughs> We're living together. And I never would have chosen to live with her. I, I'm all she has, so everything is on me. I work full time. It's a lot. With Insight, I've been so blessed to get to participate in their virtual caregiver classes. Who knew I'd be thankful for the pandemic? This is my silver lining that I'm able so easily, since I'm working from home, I have the privacy and the, the flexibility to get to participate in the virtual classes. My mom now participates in the Memory Cafe. We've been doing that for a couple of months and she loves it. She laughs the whole time. She thinks it's so much fun. I've never had to coax her. She also now is doing the Reconnections program with Kennedy again. She loves it. She just thinks it's so much fun. Makes her feel young. <laughs> because the other participants are her age or older. She loves the homework. She's so intent. If there's anything else going on, I've learned, don't put the homework in front of her because she's totally focused on it. She wants to do it. She loves it. And it's just so great. You know, she has this mental stimulation from the safety of her own home. She can't catch the virus over Zoom. So it's just been wonderful for her. So gosh, with her doing the programs, me doing the support group inside has made a huge impact and I'm just so grateful. Dementia is a whole new world and you don't know what you don't know and just the more I learn I'm just so thankful that I've discovered insight and just the wealth of knowledge and tools they have to help me. Kathy, thank you for sharing your story. Dementia affects us all. In my family, it was my late grandmother, my Nana, who recently passed away. I have a newfound respect and understanding for the caregivers we serve. I hope you will support the work of Insight tonight with a donation. Now more than ever, your gift makes a difference. You can go to insightmcc.org slash donate to make your donation. A gift of $2,500 provides virtual free education and support programs for one year. A gift of $500 provides PPE to keep our center safe. And a gift of $100 provides an MP3 player with personalized music for a participant to use at home or in our center. All donations are greatly appreciated. Every dollar makes a difference. It only takes a few minutes on your phone or computer to make a gift. 
Thank you so much for all of your support. Now, let's hear from Anita on how Insight has responded to the COVID-19 pandemic. Over the past seven months, our lives have been dramatically transformed. Insight has embraced these challenging times as an opportunity to develop new ways to provide care, education, and support. When COVID-19 hit in March, we closed our doors and immediately pivoted and started providing virtual programs for nearly all of our programs and services. We increased the number of support groups we were providing, which allowed for smaller groups so that our caregivers could be actively engaged. We continue to provide the monthly education programs to our families and caregivers in the community. Let's hear from Tom who cares for his father as he shares his story. My brother and I noticed that his memory just was not the same as it used to be. We had gone to see his doc primary care doctor a few times and he just chalked it up to old age. You know, old age, you start losing some of your memory. We thought it was more than that. So we got a referral to a neurologist. And the neurologist said, your father has Alzheimer's. He gave us some information about Alzheimer's and suggested that we go to Insight. And my father was a little reluctant in the beginning. He signed up, we signed him up for the reconnections program. And he went there one day. He didn't seem like he really wanted to go there. Probably the whole new environment he was a little afraid of. But when he came home that day, he had a little pep in his step. He wanted to know how soon he can go back. He loved the two guys that ran the program. He was doing that until the COVID crisis struck. Insight pulled out all the stops to keep their participants active with Insight. They set up virtual classes and he started doing the Reconnections virtual program. But he had issues looking at the TV screen with so many people on it and trying to figure out who was talking when. So I talked with one of the guys that ran the program and he said he would set up one-on-one -on -one calls with them twice a week, virtually. And he loves those calls, those virtual calls. What I really like about Insight is right from the get-go, I started going to support groups in person and classes that they offer in person. When the crisis, the COVID crisis started, they moved all of that virtually. Being here at Insight is like being with family. And everyone at the support group said, we are one big family. Thank you, Tom. His story is a true testament to Insight staff. There has been such a great need for both our participants and our caregivers through the pandemic, and Insight has risen to the challenge. In June, we launched a new program called Insight at Home. It provides activity and connection to people in the early stage of dementia. We see Insight at Home growing to serve more families affected by dementia virtually, building the program to serve people in our community and beyond. Insight was one of the first day centers to reopen in-person care. Although our doors were closed for three months, we were thrilled to welcome back our participants at the end of June, following very strict protocols. We started with just eight participants and are now safely serving up to 24 participants a day, and we've seen a significant improvement in our participants' quality of life since that reopening. We are deliberately taking our reopening slow, planning out each step, and being sure to vet everything with experts on our board, as well as local and state authorities. The Virginia Department of Health was impressed with our preparation, and we received our 10th deficiency-free state inspection. We are continuing a hybrid approach of in-person and virtual programs. The activities and setup look a little different, but it has been so great to continue to connect with our participants both in person and virtually. We can see firsthand the difference that this social connection and engagement makes in their lives as well as their caregivers.
My name is Ginny Malky. My husband Bob has been coming to Insight for a little over four years now, starting in Reconnections, moving last fall over to the Transitions group in the Day Center. He was working with that group, things were cooking, everything was going fine, and then of course in March it all shut down. So I want to tell you a little bit about the journey since then for my husband. Virtual programming was a little bit of a learning curve, but when he got into it, he responded, he reacted to the staff. It was a very good, supporting, positive experience for him. So even with that, I was delighted to hear that Insight was going to open the Day Center again in July. It has been um, more than I could hope for, really. The only way I can, can adequately describe it is to think about what life would be like without the center open right now. And I do understand that the center opened with a great deal of deliberation, more than a great deal of planning, more than a great deal of coordination with state health, county health organizations. And I know that now people around the country are looking to the Insight Day Center as a model. The first day that we came back to the center, we came back for a half day and we were on the early shift. And I have a husband who's not an early person, but he got up, we talked about it, and quite honestly, he did not remember having been here before. So it was kind of a new experience for him. Anita, the executive director, was in the parking lot welcoming him, welcoming the other participants who came. We had talked about the requirements for wearing a mask. We had talked about the fact that he was going to have to have his temperature taken. And all of that happened seamlessly and as part of the welcoming process. He was escorted inside. He was well taken care of. When he came out the first day, now mind you, this was just a half a day. I said, how was it? He said, it was long. I said, well, you know, you haven't been there for a while. So the second day he came and when he came back out, I said, how was it? It was great, he said. We did a lot of different things. The rec staff, the care staff are all working together to provide not only cognitive activities, but physical activities and social activities with social distancing. It has been um, not just a positive experience, I think it has been a lifesaver for Bob. So with that background, I am really here to call upon you to exert the same kind of effort to step out of your comfort zone like the rec staff did with the virtual programming, to go beyond any expectations that you have for giving like the care staff has gone beyond any expectations for welcoming the participants, to extend yourself like the admin staff has to make sure that this center stays open and is able to continue to serve these families who I would say desperately need the services of the center. Without your support, the families that are here are going to suffer. And I would like you to think about going beyond the normal level of giving that you are already thinking of. As we look ahead, the number of people diagnosed with dementia will dramatically increase. Therefore, we'll require many more family caregivers to step up to their new role. We continue to evolve in this new setting and continue to look at new ways that we can cast a wider net to serve more families and participants with Alzheimer's disease and other memory impairments. But we cannot do it alone. We need your support tonight. Please go to insightmcc.org slash donate to make your donation now. Another great way to support Insight is by bidding on an auction item. Have you had a chance to look at all the amazing photography from our caregivers and past participants? Visit imcc2020.ggo.bid to find photography from all over the world. Now, let's find out who won this year's awards. Insight launched the Excellence in Memory Care Award five years ago to honor and recognize programs of excellence in our community. 
Nominees must demonstrate how they are models of excellence and how they positively impact memory care in our community. I'm honored to announce the winner of Insights Excellence in Memory Care Award, Steve Gurney, with the Positive Aging Sourcebook. For over 30 years, the Positive Aging Sourcebook has made finding housing, aging in place solutions, and resources convenient by providing the most comprehensive and trusted resource in print and digital formats. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, Steve has been working with his team to continue to connect people and help families find care through innovative ways. Let's hear from Steve. It means a lot to me to receive recognition from an organization that I respect so much and one that I've had ties to literally for my entire career. I founded Sourcebook in the basement of a house that was right across the street from the original Alzheimer's Family Day Center. Over the years, I've been impressed with the organization's evolution and innovation to help families through their creative programming and care. Insight's approach to creating solutions is certainly an inspiration to me in these unusual times. I'm humbled and flattered to receive an award from such a wonderful organization. Thank you. Thank you for all you do to positively impact memory care in our community. Our next award is new this year. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, we are awarding a COVID-19 Care Response Award. This award recognizes programs and services that went above and beyond to positively impact memory care in our community during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm honored to announce this year's Insight COVID-19 Care Response Award to Kate Caldwell with the Caravan Challenge. Kate created a Caravan Challenge to allow healthcare heroes to be honored through the COVID-19 pandemic. It allowed healthcare companies to come together to honor those in assisted living, memory care communities, as well as nursing facilities for all they have done to keep residents safe from COVID-19. Kate thought outside of the box to encourage healthcare companies to come together to honor workers. Let's hear from Kate. A warm thank you to Insight Memory Care Center for awarding Elder Tree Care Management Services with the COVID-19 Care Response Award. A very special thank you to all of you who participated in the Caravan Challenge. The Caravan Challenge was born out of a team meeting in which we were brainstorming about how we could be helpful to assisted living and skilled nursing residents and staff. If you would like to be a part of the Caravan Challenge mission, please visit our Facebook group at hashtag Caravan Challenge. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your evening at this wonderful event. Congratulations, Kate. Thank you for positively impacting memory care in our community during the COVID-19 pandemic. You are an inspiration to us all. Congratulations, Kate and Steve. Your dedication to serving our community is inspiring. At Insight, we think of ourselves as one big family, always working to help and support however we can. We are sure that you are here tonight to honor someone in your life affected by dementia. Tonight, I am honoring my father, who was recently diagnosed. If you're honoring someone in your life, type that person's name in the chat box while we hear some parting words from our families. I couldn't do this alone. I've learned that. I tried. I know how important it is for families to have the support, not just the person with the illness or the disease. Um, this is a family disease. It affects the spouses, the brothers, the sisters, the children, and we don't have any support system really in our family. Um, so that's why I call Inside Our Family, because they um, have supported us from the very beginning. My goal was always uh, to keep the quality of Gordon's life as high and comfortable as possible, and to do this process to the very end at home, but with dignity and grace. I cannot emphasize enough how much insight allows you and your family to just be you and to ask questions when needed. And they're just a great part of your team. Every day is a new adventure. We take it step by step, and I'm just glad insight is there with us to help us. One of the things that's comforting to us is knowing that there are different levels um, 
of program there. So as he might progress through the disease, we know that there's a place for him and there will be an ease and um, comfort for him as, as he moves forward in that. Well, it's been a particularly strange time to be away from Insight. There were so many great things that we were able to do as a group together. And since then, we've been finding ways to, to keep it up going. So, and it makes a big difference every day when we get together. Thank you to everyone at Insight. It makes a difference. I will echo Anita and everyone else as I honor my Nana tonight. There are many reasons that bring us together. If you have not had a chance to make a donation this evening, please go to insightmcc.org slash donate now to make your gift. It takes just a couple of minutes to make a huge impact for so many that Insight cares for on a daily basis. I support it earlier and I hope you will join us. Right now, I am putting my auction bids in and I'm not telling you which ones so I don't get outbid. I won the vacation home last year hoping to get another one this year as it's the best way to get away and stay safe. I almost don't want to say it so I don't get outbid, but don't forget to get your final bids in for the silent auction. Go to imcc2020.ggo.bid to get your final bids in. The auction will close tomorrow at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for joining us virtually tonight. It has been such a great evening. You will now rejoin the paintings and pairings floor to visit at the tables with new and old friends. We will keep the floor open for another 30 minutes. Thank you again for joining us online tonight and for all of your support of Insight. Good night and we'll see you next year. Thank you and good night.